And that's a, I also, I, one more point is Trump, Trump, he's focusing on older people, mm. poor people. Mm. That he got 35% support. Mm. He don't focus on current hot topics or wisdom people, intellectual people. He neglects everything. Mm. But he just all, only focus on older people, mm. not clever people. Okay? Mm. So that is, that's the reason he's supporting. I found it. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's very obvious. But uh, it would be difficult for him to, to, to get the understanding of intellectual people because he's not an intellectual. That's right. But his point is very hitting, hitting point. Mm. Okay, usually, uh, like, like me, I try to focus on intellectual people. I try to focus on uh, top knowledgeable people. But that is wrong. Mm. And the uh, majority of country people not like that. Yeah. So Trump focus on those people, but at that ancient Greece is also they focus on older people, politics politicians. So how they did it? What did they do? Yeah. So, but uh, no, but they didn't have to work the land. They didn't have to do anything. No, 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 no nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I believe. Okay, you maybe people is. Uh, Plato's five stage, mm. and finally they want to get knowledge, and they want to read book, they want to more skilled, but all the people, no, 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 they don't need anything at all, like Trump, they don't <laughs> want to read book, mm. so, so majority people, they don't want to do nothing, mm. but they usually people is uh, frustrating, they critics complain, and even if they don't do nothing at all, and government pay money for them, but still it's frustrating. So Very how, much. how, how did they control for those people? This is, this is, a, is a, our world future, near future. We need to more, more focus on no, that. What do you think, uno It's quite simple. This is what I don't know, because I, beforehand, I, I, okay. And Plato is five stage. Plato? Mm. Five stage. And final stage is, uh, we want to get knowledge. Mm. We want to get the skill. Right? But, uh, but, you know, actually, no, they, no, no, majority people, they don't want to study nothing at all, okay, they don't do anything at all, and uh, I thought, okay, mm. get money, okay, mm. and basic income, you don't need to worry, but then, mm. finally, you want to study, you want to get some social uh, service skill or something additional value added for, for himself, no, no, they don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. But if leave it is, they're going. Society will get into unrest. Mm -hmm. But actually, those people, Greek people, is keep stable. And at that time, Spartan invaded them. And uh, and uh, until that, they are very safe and stable country. They mm -hmm. have they have no problem inside. Right. So this is my concern. How are they going to keep the people happy? Well, I think uh, one of already uh, actually in what you're telling, I think that lies the answer um, because they, they it was not a a big country. They were city states, and uh, they were not at uh, they were not friendly towards each other. Uh, so there was a constant battle going on, and uh, uh, so basically. They uh, they created a, 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 a common enemy. I think that created unity um, because for the Ath uh, Athenians, the Spartans were the enemy. So therefore, um, basically, you needed to be part of of the group. You needed to be part of that society. Otherwise, uh, you were powerless against the uh, the Spartans. So uh, I think that still is a is is a. Um, is a uh, strategy that used by many politicians. You create a common enemy, like uh, in Hungary, uh, the, the, the current president Orbán. He also creates a common enemy, like the immigrant, or uh, or or um, uh, in in England to get Brexit done. Also, the, they they also created a, a common enemy towards the, the preservation of the British history. So that's basically. How you can keep people at the same side? Just create a common enemy. Did they? 
Mm. Well, I can easily say that they they were constantly uh, at uh, um, at war or either a, a tense relationship with their neighbors. So I can I can also uh, easily say that that you kind of in that situation in that political climate you need to be part of some of of some kind of a group otherwise uh, you're at risk. Mm. This is maybe one uh, reason they try to keep them mm. alive. It's, it's not a big country. Uh, in in uh, in Rome, in the Roman uh, Empire, it was uh, more a matter of uh, divide and rule, create stakeholders, give people equal rights, um, and make everybody become part of the Roman Empire, no matter where you were born, um, and whether you were uh, conquered or not. Um, basically, <coughs> they made strategic alliances with, with local rulers and gave them a piece of the action, uh, gave them uh, uh, some benefits to belong at, of the, uh, in, inside the Roman Empire and actually gave them also equal education, same education, uh, same um, uh, opportunities uh, when it came to making career, etc. And that's how they managed to sustain Rome to some kind of extent. Roman case is different from Greece. It's different, yeah. But uh, based upon your opinion, Roman case is not... Uh, Okay, they are trying to battle ex expanding their country, right. territory, but uh, Roma city people is very stable for several hundred years, right? Right. Well, stable, of course, they were, they were, uh, they were challenged very often from all sides, from east, from the north, uh, especially Western Roman Empire was under threat. Of, uh, of invasion constantly and there was always this kind of like centralization decentral decentralization uh, uh, effort uh, uh, to um, uh, to maintain stability uh, if things are stable and things are quiet nobody wants to pay taxes uh, because they don't feel threat so they they start to actually uh, because the Roman Empire was 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 huge and it had many different people from many different uh, 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 backgrounds and uh, uh, the distance from Rome is very far and like you said communication uh, was not easy um, so in, in, in that situation um, if you are um, a local ruler and you need to pay taxes to Rome um, then what do you get in return in a, in, a, in a military tight situation so if you're under attack from uh, from uh, from a direct enemy uh, then you want to pay your taxes because if you pay your taxes you can get support from Rome if you need to fight the enemy so in that situation you can see that there was more allegiance towards Rome but the moment things are peaceful and uh, and and tranquil and uh, the money is being earned then people start to basically separate themselves from Rome. So you see a constant movement uh, with the, uh, that's basically uh, the, the wealthier the people are, the less allegiance they had to Rome and vice versa. The more they are under threat, the more they are they, they pledge their allegiance to Rome because they need the support of the entire uh, uh, Roman Empire. So it's kind of an, an, an organism where, where economics and military uh, uh, go hand in hand. But it is, uh, I think, uh, amazing that, that in a, at a time like this, where, where indeed it would take weeks, if not months, to, to, to travel from, from the, the eastern... Uh, side of the uh, of the Greek Empire to uh, towards uh, uh, Athens to actually uh, uh, have warfare and uh, have decisions from uh, from uh, all the way from uh, from Greece and to maintain that so that that is also what basically led it to a collapse um, 
because uh, yeah, the, the, these. You mean uh, expand to not expand it? So it was it yeah it was uh, it was expanded like uh, basically what 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 we see here is the empire of Alexander the Great, and he. はい、皆さんこんにちは。運野です。今日はですね。運野塾のあの研修のプログラムをご紹介したいと思います。で、まあこういう風なホームページあります。けれども、あの是非ですね。あの一度中身をご覧になっていただきたいと思います。あ、今日はブーキューブさんのスタジオに来てまあ、この収録をしておりますので、えー、中身はこういう風になってて、今最近ホットはね。グローバルリーダーの定義など書いております。で、特にあの県団連が作成しました。まあ、留学すればあの英語ができて専門性を持つというだけではですね、えー、グローバルリーダーにならないとこに書いてありますようにですね、えー、仕事ができる専門性を持つ英語ができるだけじゃなくてですね私どもの塾ではあリベラルアースということとそれからあもう一つは孫子の兵をさらにはですね、えー、日本の歴史というものを合わせて教えることによって皆さんが海外の欧米の方々ともしくは華僑圏の方々と正々堂々と渡り合えるような人物を育成しようというふうなことを考えていますここにあの次のスライドが出ておりますけれどもここにあの書いてありますのですねさらに、えー、私どもの運の塾の中身につきましてはですね欧米の資料しか使っておりませんまたあ実際に運の塾は英語ではやっておりますので、まあ、英語の講師がこう話しておりますけど学習はですね、えー、日本の歴史をまだ教えてますので各週の午後はですね、えー、日本のプログラムをしております以前はこれ有料だったんです今はですね実際に会場費も取っていただいておりませんで、えー、毎回5000円ということで、えー、朝9時から午後5時までやっておりますので、えー、ぜひ皆さんですね、えー、ご検討の上あご参加いただければと、まあ、英語のできない方もですね、えー、各週の午後こういうふうな検証をしておりますので、えー、ぜひご参加いただければというふうに思っておりますのでよろしくお願いしますでここにあのえー、さらにですねあのグループ討議とか実務の勘どころを教えるって書いてありますけど、まあ、実際には私があの10年ほどですね、えー、欧米の新聞とか雑誌等をです、ね、集めてきたもともと英語のベースでございますのでそうしたものをですね50セッションのテーマに分けて資料を作成しております、まあ、そういうことで、えー、世界のオペレーションもしくは関東リスクも含めてですねしかも世界のトップの方々に対してもいろいろな分析とか洞察をしてですね議論をしておりますそういったことも含めてですね今後ともよろしくお願いしたいと思います以上で私の挨拶を終えて終え終えますが、まあ、今回のこのビデオの収録にあたってはですね V キブさんのスタジオをお借りしてですねお時間を頂戴してまあ、このビデオを作成させていただきましたよろしくお願いしますどうもありがとうございました